What's going on, Junkie Nation? Gorgeous George and Goes are back with another superstar from the sport of mixed martial arts. Today, we're talking to Elena Kolesnik, who's going to be fighting on August 18th in New York City inside the Madison Square Garden, the famous Madison Square Garden versus Larissa Pacheco. They are the co-main event that night on ESPN. No excuses. You got to catch this fight. These are the semifinals for the playoffs for the PFL. Elena is the number six ranked featherweight in the world, according to the USA Today Sports and MMA Junkie Rankings. Elena, welcome back to MMA Junkie Radio. How are you? Thank you. <clears throat> I'm in a fight camp, so, you know, focus on my upcoming fight and just counting day days, like nine days. Yeah. Have you ever heard the saying, third time is the charm? Is there something similar like to that in the Ukraine, or have you heard it here in the United States? Uh, with my uh, love to the magic and Harry Potter, <laughs> like you know, <laughs> we'll see. But I'm more, I'm more believe in the skills and opportunity. If God decided to send me Larissa again to fight with her again, like let's do it again. I don't care with whom fight. All I want to make it happen and to be in the final of this year in PFL. Would you, you probably knew when the season started that you would fight Larissa, you know, th th Who this else? season. Who yeah. else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I guess my question here is, now that you um, are in the playoffs, do you wish you would have fought Larissa in the finals? Or do you like where you're getting her now in the semifinals? Does it make a difference? I mean, uh, of course, uh, in the beginning, I thought it will be great to fight you in the finals, but nobody say that we can pick you, <laughs> pick you with who we fight. And I guess even semifinals will be better because it will be three rounds, and uh, you know, like better now than later, like whatever. As I told you, all I want to be in the final. But of course, me know, you know, PFL know that this is actually the final fight because uh, other girls, it's like easy bones, you know? So, I mean, in this fight, we'll be obviously understanding who will be the champion of this year. Okay. I like I like that that mind trick that you're doing. That, that makes sense. I mean, you two are very uh, highly skilled. You're up there in the rankings. It makes sense. Nobody would call you crazy for saying something like that. You've won four of your last five, and I wanted to ask you, what do you attribute that to now that you're on the best run of your career? I mean, <clears throat> I work really hard to make my performance uh, for for this year, and uh, like the hard work pay off, and you can obviously see uh, how much change I'm in my fights with Aspenland and the Yoko Higashi. So I definitely do much better this fight with Larissa than any fights with her before. Do you feel like uh, changes from the first fight to this fight, have they been drastic or have they just been just a little couple things here that you learned from the first fight that you had to change? Well, my, my teammate has changed, my coach has changed, my preparation has changed. If in the first fight I win in by points the first round and I lost because I make a mistake, change my stand up and run and her and she catch me really well. So like it was in the first fight with us where I wasn't even close to my shape right now. The second fight, I think I give her too much respect and I'm like, oh, I can lose again and my mind play with me the bad game. So for now, I don't care, like I'm not focused personally on Larissa Pacheca. I only want to have a two checks from this fight and I want to be in the final. My mental part is really changed than any other fights before with her. That moment uh, of being a champion, of winning, you know, the season, all that. Have you thought, do you, do you like to think about that a lot? Or because I know that you like to focus on whoever's in front of you. But because it's such a big deal and, you know, everybody, it's human nature. We all kind of think about those types of things. Um, have you thought about that moment and what it will actually mean to you and maybe people around you as well? I finally can see my family. 
this to be the champion and give me opportunity first of all financial opportunity to to see my parents and to help them right now so of course for my personal dream my personal goals the belt is the most important but the people who are on my shoulders right now they they need money so i'm focused i put everything to be to be in the final this all year all right so alina i wanted to ask you this um, your footwork, I'm a huge fan of your footwork. And even the PFL announcers, when they're talking about it, they give you a lot of high praise. You obviously put in the work, but who gave you the direction on your ability to just float and move around so nice in the cage? Well, <laughs> I mean, if you watch my amateur fights, which uh, I make uh, since... I guess uh, since 2007, I have a lot of amateur fights. And uh, I mean, I always move like that. But with transition to MMA, I totally forget that I have this style. But I was blessed last year to meet my boxing coach, Marcus. And he just, he every time, even we worked with him in next two hours again, he every time reminded me that just be yourself, just dance, just flow. And he said, like, this is all you already got inside of you. So just just do it. And uh, we show it with him in Aspenland fight. We show it with him with Yoko Higashi fight. I'm really blessed to work with Marcus. And I'm really happy to work with him for upcoming fight. After you're done fighting, I think you would do good in movies. <laughs> This Has anyone a... <laughs> ever uh, approached you about that? Um, like, I, I would have loved to have seen you in the movie. Like, do you ever see Atomic Blonde with Charlize Theron, for example? That's Something my like favorite that? actress. <laughs> That's your favorite actress? Yes. Charlize she's a Theron. huge She's a huge MMA fan. She loves MMA, by the way. I would love to see you, like, in a movie like that or, or something. I th you know, I've seen um, Denzel Washington's had a few movies. Uh, the Equalizer, I think it's called. And he's had some MMA fighters in those. But I, have you ever been approached or have you ever thought of that? Is that something you like to do when you're done fighting? Uh, in my hometown, Odessa, before war, uh, we have an uh, um, international film festival. Uh, there I met uh, Rutger Hauer, uh, one of my favorite actors. Uh, then uh, I, take part in the, I took part in the movie by author Chekhov. And, but it was, I think it was 2010, I guess, like that. It's mm -hmm. my huge, huge goal for the future. I I want to be a movie. I want acting. And um, as soon as opportunity come to me, I will definitely say yes. So if it's nice script and it's interesting movie, why not? I, I like to see how my boss, uh, Randy Couture, his movie coming in September soon. So... It's cool that even my fighters have opportunity to show and uh, still it's some kind of show, you know. Their fights, it's a show and the movie, it's a continue of this show. So I would like to take part in the movie in the future. And, you know, we're all looking forward to the fight and we can't wait to see you again. And hopefully we get to see you again here in Vegas soon. Uh, we want to wish you all the luck in this fight. We know it's going to be a great fight. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you soon.